As more modern day data centers are moving to an all layer three design, more are having the host participate in the layer three routing fabric. I'm Diane Patton, a technical marketing engineer with Cumulus Networks. Today, I will cover the benefits routing on the host will provide along with a short demo. This depicts a dual attached host data center today where layer three routing is done between the spine and the leaves. The connectivity to the host is still done via layer two meaning MLAG and spanning tree is still in the environment. However, data centers are unifying, and whereas where servers were good at automation with open source tools, now the network switch is running Cumulus Linux is just as good at automation. And then looking at the servers or hosts, we can now install applications like IFUpDown2 or NetShow. But what if we installed Cumulus Quagga on the hosts and allowed the servers to do routing as the switches? Routing with Cumulus Quagga directly on the host provides many benefits in a modern data center. Since Cumulus Quagga is a package on Linux and Cumulus operating system is Linux, Cumulus is in a unique position to provide routing on the host. One of the benefits of routing on the host is the reduction of VLANs. In the past, we needed layer two for discovery, for heartbeat, and to move IP addresses or VMs around. Using layer two resulted in limited scale, however. VLANs were used in the past to segment that layer two traffic to help mitigate broadcast storms between the entire layer two network. However, today modern applications use DNS for application discovery and modern cluster applications don't rely on multicast for heartbeat. The new applications greatly benefit from servers, VMs, and or containers proactively injecting their slash 32 addresses in the cluster or layer three network, allowing a much simpler network. Additionally, since we advertise the host IP address as a slash 32 into the routing domain, we can move the host wherever they need to go and keep the same IP address. Another benefit is the subnet freedom, as just mentioned. In the past, we had to tie an IP address to a rack. But by routing on the host, this is no longer required and we can deploy any server anywhere with any IP address. This also allows us to move hosts without changing the IP address. And with Cumulus Quagga supporting BGP or OSPF unnumbered, it makes the configuration for such a change non-existent. No configuration change to move. With some vendors, running layer two to the host creates the restriction of connecting the host to only two leaf switches if running MLAG. This restriction could cause a loss of 50% of the bandwidth during a leaf outage. Additionally, MLAG ties up two additional ports for intra-MLAG communication that could otherwise be used for the data plane. However, running routing on the host allows you to connect the host to as many leaf switches as you wish, thereby decreasing the outage bandwidth during a failure scenario. For example, with four leaf switches, you would be out only a quarter of the bandwidth during a leaf switch outage. With layer two to the host, in order to load balance traffic with layer two, expensive load balancers are needed to distribute the flows. However, with routing, it's possible to use any cast to help load balance between servers. By assigning the same IP address to two or more servers and using ECMP routing, we can distribute the load between the servers automatically. Each switch in the path will perform a hashing and determine the exit point from the switch, which will not change during the flow, thus ensuring the flow will remain with the same server. Resilient hashing ensures if a link goes down, the flows won't be rehashed. More information on resilient hashing can be found at the below URL. Let's show this concept on a demo. So this is the demo that I have set up today. And as you can see, there are four web servers running Ubuntu, two sets of two advertising the same IP address. This is an entire layer three network running Cumulus Quagga eBGP unnumbered, which is running on the spines, the leaves, and the web servers or the hosts. Each web server is connected and BGP peering its ethernet ports to three leaves, which in turn are doing the same to the two spines. The web servers with identical addresses are serving the same content as they both have a web application running in a Docker container. To simulate coming from the outside or within the data center, I have connected the PCs running Ubuntu to a spine port, simulating traffic transiting through border leaves. The PCs are not running a routing protocol, but the subnet is being advertised by the connected spine via the BGP network command. Both web servers are set up to deliver the same content. I will demo the PC1 connecting to 172.22.2, which is physically one server, and PC2 
also connecting to 172.22.2, which is physically the other server, thereby showing the ability to load balance with this solution. So let's move to the demo. I'm running this demo entirely on my Mac. I'm using VirtualBox VMs. The Switch VM is running Cumulus VX, and the hosts and PCs are running Ubuntu. Vagrant stitches the entire network together. So first, let's go to the web servers 2 and 3. They are both configured identically. As you can see, they're both running Ubuntu, and I have a Linux container with Nginx, only for web server application, on both of them. Both servers have the same IP address, 172.20.2.2, as you can see here. I created a different index page for each web server just to identify which is which so that we'll be able to see that later. I've also installed Quagga on the web servers running eBGP unnumbered, and they're peering with the leaves. Now I'll move to a spine, and you can see that we have ECMP routes to that same Anycast address, 172.20.2.2. So each PC will pick one of these routes to get to 172.22.2, which could be Web Server 2 or Web Server 3, since both of those web servers are advertising that address. So next, we'll go to VirtualBox PC1, and I will HTTP to 172.20.2.2. And you can see that I've reached Web Server 2. And going to the other PC, HTTPing to the same address, I can reach Web Server 3. So as you can see, one of the many benefits of this solution is the ability to load balance between servers. And in conclusion, routing on the host with Cumulus Quagga provides a vast array of benefits. We can allow for much easier troubleshooting, as MLAG and spanning tree are no longer required anywhere in the network. We can allow for subnet freedom. We can not only place any server anywhere, but we can also dynamically move hosts around the data center. We can improve redundancy and bandwidth. Routing on the host allows the host to connect to the number of leaf switches you would like, not what the vendor says. And we can also use additional ports that would be used for intra-MLAG communication to connect to hosts and spines. And lastly, we can use AnyCast for load balancing. Thank you for watching and have a great day.